Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will write a new SQL script that aggregates our data. So aggregating data is nothing but summarizing your data and there are three steps to perform that. The first step is to extract the data using something called as extractors. The next step is to perform the aggregation and the aggregation here is very similar to the aggregation in SQL language that is you perform the aggregation by using group by clause and an aggregation function like for example sum, count, etc. And the third thing is once you have the data you would output that to a file in data lake store. So let's see that in demo. So to aggregate the data I already have created a new SQL script so let me just copy paste here and I will name the job as aggregate data okay so if you see the script this script has three different parts to it in the first part you are basically extracting the data and in the second part you are summarizing the data and in the third part you are outputting that to a file in data lake store so while extracting the data I am applying a schema over here and I am extracting the data from the same file from the vendor folder using extractors.txt and here in the second step I am using this data variable which is containing my row set to summarize the data by date okay so I am summarizing the data by date and I am only summing up the amount so disregarding all the other fields and once I have the summarized data I am outputting that to a file uh, which is uh, .csv okay and uh, basically I have uh, missed out the outputter so I need to include the outputter so since I am outputting that to a csv file I need to use using outputters .csv and I will have the number of AUs to 1 and submit the job so the job is successful so let me go to my data section and go into my outputs and if I go to results underscore summary dot csv where we basically have outputted our aggregated data you will see that the data is aggregated based on date and since there are only two dates two different dates for January which is 1 and 2 we get only two records so that's a simple example on how to do aggregation using uSQL script. Thank you.